this awesome presence of God is very, very important. And he's willing to make his presence known. Remember, we started out saying, when's the last time that you felt his presence in your life? Was it in a worship service? Was it somebody singing? Was it um, uh, when you were praying or maybe in one of your private devotional times in your meditation? Is that the time that you felt him the strongest, the most, that you, that you could not deny it? And you would say, God spoke to my heart. God was just, he was just all over. I can't describe it. I just know he was there. Well, the truth is, that's what he wants to do. He desires to make himself known. What, what the problem is, we can't even begin to conceive of how much he loves us, how awesome his love is. We look at the cross and say, you know, he died on the cross for our sins, the greatest expression of his love. That's true. But there is that awesome expression of his love that, listen, after we're saved daily in our life, he desires that you and I live aware of his presence, but there will be times when his presence is very, very significant, more significant than ever before. It doesn't mean that it'll be there all the time. You can't, you can't create it. You can't, you can't manufacture it. You can't predetermine it. You can't say, well, God's going to, he's just going to visit me. No, it's when he chooses. How often will it be? Nobody knows that. But he wants to make himself known to the point that you and I could never deny the fact of who he is and, wh and what he's doing in our life. And so uh, when I think about that, I think about how did he work in the past? That is, what did God do in the past? He hasn't changed. And while our society and our cultures change, God hasn't changed. He knew all about changing cultures. He knew all about electronics when there wasn't any such thing as a wire. In other words, he knew everything about all things. And he is just as willing today to work in your life, speak to you, make himself known, and energize you by the awareness of his presence. It is awesome what happens when you are aware of the presence of God in your life. There is no limitation to what you can do that fits within the will of God for your life. So how did he operate in the past? Well, let's think about it, for example. You remember when uh, God wanted to speak to Moses, that Moses had been on the backside of the desert for 40 years, ran away out of Egypt and because he killed an Egyptian soldier. And um, as a result, he's out there as a shepherd. And one day he's walking along and he sees this burning bush. And he looks at it and he notices that it's not burning up. It's just burning. And the Bible says, Moses turned aside to look. He didn't keep going. He didn't say, well, that's my imagination. He turned aside to look, and when he did, God said to him, Moses, Moses. And he stopped. And you know the story. He told him to take off his sandals. Take them off. He said, you're standing on holy ground. What did he do? He made himself aware to Moses in a very special way. You say, well, will there be burning bushes in our life? Let me put it two ways. Like that one? No. But the kind that'll fit you? Yes. Because he desires to do something in your life. 